I know is so explosive. Welcome, Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com. It is July 18th, 2015, and I'm going to update you on the EPA hearing on flight pollution that is occurring August 11th, 2015 in Washington, D.C. Now, I registered for this hearing uh, before I knew I would even be able to attend, and I put my um, you know heart out there on the internet and asked you guys for um, support on that, and we've already reached 50% of our goal on the GoFundMe. I did register. I got my confirmation from the EPA. I will be attending, and I am no longer the only one attending. That has me so excited. I've had uh, several people reach out to me and contact me, say they're going to be going as well. So it's on. It's so on, and I'm very excited about that. Okay, so um, I want to go ahead and thank the people who have already donated to the uh, GoFundMe. Um, I couldn't do this without you guys. I really appreciate your support. And some of the comments I'm getting, man, just it, it just blows my mind. Um, you guys are making my day. Clay Taylor said, I've not seen anyone with such passion or talent in this field who's done so much to elucidate what's happening and to do so with such careful discernment as you. Raise hell and stay the course. That's awesome. I mean, it's just awesome. Uh, Paul Carleon, thanks for the Herculean super effort on all you've done, especially with the Climate Viewer website. Um, Ciros Beg, thank you on behalf of those who give a shit. I definitely give a shit. I've given a shit for three years, and this is going to be so worth it. And then second for first on Twitter said, the most informed environmental activist on the subject of chemtrails needs your help to attend the EPA hearing. I appreciate that, man. And I appreciate everybody who's supporting me in doing this. And, you know, you don't have to donate to be supporting this effort. If you care about this flight pollution topic, if you care about chemtrails, contrails, and the effects that these planes are having on the, uh, the environment, then you should get involved. Um, I'm going to provide the information so that you can comment if you cannot attend. <laughs> According to the EPA lady who called me, written comments are just as valid as those who are on, you know, attend the hearing. So please send your email in. Tell them how you feel about uh, planes making blankets of clouds covering the sky on a daily basis. Tell them how you feel about all the barium that people are finding in their soil samples and that we know is coming out of the planes. I'm going to go up to the EPA and I'm going to tell them all the technical stuff. And hopefully we can get to the bottom of, of some of these serious problems. Um, and, and the first step is, you know, of course, being there. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do it with your support. So um, to all those who've supported me so far, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you. Um, and everybody, you know, please share this message. So let me give you a real quick rundown of what's going on at the hearing so that people can understand the gravity of this. The EPA is seeking to regulate aviation emissions, meaning jet exhaust, under the Clean Air Act, uh, Section 231. And they're trying to say that the pollution that's in that law that's supposed to protect us from air pollution, pollution is defined as six greenhouse gases. Stop the press. So you're telling me that CO2 and climate change gases are more a danger to human health than trade secret chemicals, than uh, you know toxic carcinogenic fuel additives, than the barium that's in you know been in the plane since 1962, and the chemical clouds they're making on a daily basis that, in their own report for this EPA hearing, they downplay. They're using old data that came from the IPCC that is incorrect. And they're saying that CO2, you know, is going to lead to climate change. So they should stop the planes from putting out CO2 while ignoring the clouds, while ignoring the clouds. Now, the, the truth of the matter is, since the data that they are using, there's been a complete reversal. And I'm going to give you the quote, atmospheric science seen through contrails. Olivier Boucher, who was the lead author of the IPCC report that they're using to, to write all these regulations on. He did a 180 and he said, the latest June 2013 estimates indicate that contrails caused by aircraft may be causing more climate warming today than all the residual CO2 emitted by aircraft, period. So let me get this straight. These clouds that these planes are making are heating the freaking planet up. That's what our planet, that's the future of our planet if we do not stop this. 
So it's on August 11th, 2015 at the Bill Clinton Building in downtown D.C., um, 10 a.m. I'm going to be there. I hope that you can be there as well. If you can't, please comment. If you can help by supporting me at my GoFundMe, I would greatly appreciate it. Please spread the word about this hearing and get as many people involved as possible. Um, and finally, I, I always say this at the end of my videos, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not. I can tell that there's a lot of people out there that really care. And I, I'm just so proud of uh, the community. So let's really hammer this home and make the people that are going to make the decisions understand. Um, I appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you.